Hello everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to discuss the different EVGA 780 cards in front of me. Uh, first we have the reference model, uh, second we have the superclock model, and last we have the superclock model with EVGA's ACX cooler. And if you've been watching our channel lately, you've seen us talk about the 780 a lot. This is just going to be a direct comparison between these three. So here's a look at the box itself. It is a three-way SLI capable, but uh, it is actually four-way SLI as well. Uh, GPU boost 2.0, so you can get a little bit more speed out of the uh, boost clock. I'm going to flip around to the back here, just show you the detailed specs. Um, I do want to just point out uh, that it's NVIDIA Shield ready. So if you are planning to get a Shield, this is definitely going to work because it is one of the Kepler-based uh, GPUs. Inside the box, here's a couple of the accessories. We've got a VGA to DVI adapter. So if you have a really old monitor, I don't know why you're buying this, but if you do, you can still use it. Uh, then we have the, looks like it's the six, two six pin to eight pin um, PCI Express power adapter, just to get you some extra power if you have an older PSU. Also, this is probably tough to see with the reflection, but uh, two four pin Molex to six pin uh, PCI Express power too. Um, then, of course, we have the case badge in mixed in with the CD, which I always kind of find is strange because these are scratchable and I don't know, anyways, it's just me. And the drivers, of course, on this CD. And the uh, EVGA gives you a nice warning that you very well may have problems uh, with this card and you, that might require you to update your BIOS. Uh, you can try it without that first and if it does end up working, great. If not, then you, know, you might want to consider updating your BIOS. Uh, they also give you a warning, do not turn this on without power going to the card. Uh, fairly self-explanatory, your computer won't turn on, it'll just kind of sit there. Um, as well as the uh, a quick install guide showing you how to install it, uh, also how to set up uh, your SLI. Um, so moving right along to the actual manual itself, you can see here, very small, colored, and standard stuff. So inside the box, you're also getting a couple decals. Bring that down a little bit. There you go. And also a poster. They entitle uh, Game of Pones. So very nice, very nice. And this, this comes in every one of the three EVGA models that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. Here's EVGA's uh, GTX 780 reference card. Uh, you'll notice there's nothing really different here, nothing strange or out of the ordinary or special, uh, which changes shortly. But if I flip around on the back, you'll notice that if you were to compare it to a Titan, it's just missing some of the RAM here that a Titan would normally have, as well as some of the cores. Uh, speaking of cores, it's got 2,304 CUDA cores. Uh, the base clock on this particular card is 863 megahertz, no difference from uh, NVIDIA's uh, stock uh, clock rate. But the boost clock is 902, which is just 2 megahertz higher than NVIDIA's uh, standard reference. Uh, the memory itself, we're looking at uh, 3 gigabytes of memory, GDDR5 to be specific, and uh, clocked at 6,008 6, megahertz, as well as a bandwidth of 384-bit interface. And the actual bandwidth, excuse me, itself is 288.38 uh, gigabits per second. Now, if you can see the ports here, we're looking at a display port uh, 1.2, HDMI port 1.4, as well as the uh, DVI uh, analog, as well as regular, and then the DVI digital only. So if you were going to use that, uh, that D-sub, that VGA to DVI adapter, you'd be able to plug it in here, but not in this one. So here's EVGA's super clock version of the GTX 780. Still nothing different here, it's still the exact same shroud, same blower, same cooling solution, still the NVIDIA's uh, reference design. On the back, nothing different with the PCB either. Uh, in fact, we still have the same amount of cores and, and RAM and everything else. The biggest difference, the base clock, obviously, because it's super clocked. So instead of 863 megahertz, they bumped it up to 941 megahertz. The boost clock is now 993 megahertz, up from the 902 of EVGA's reference card. So you're looking at 941 megahertz base and 993 boost clocked. Okay, guys, we saved the best for last. Uh, this is the GTX 780 Super Clocked with EVGA's ACX Cooler, as you can see. Definitely different than the reference design. Um, it's very nice. It has a, a aluminum uh, fin array with two very small dual ball bearing fans. They have a 12-year uh, average lifespan, covered in a plastic shroud, 
and at the, underneath the actually if you can if you can see I'm not really sure oh you actually you can uh, the heat pipes here as well as an aluminum plate that would go over the memory just below that um, now if I flip it around here just to show you PCB still the same the biggest thing here is the cooler and the new clock rate so the base clock on this is 967 megahertz and the boost clock is now up to 1020 megahertz so the uh, base, the, the, the reference model from EVGA is 863 and 902 boost clock rate. So 104 mega, megahertz uh, base clock boosted and uh, the boost rate itself is 118 megahertz. So quite a bit more. Uh, I, would, I would be willing to bet money it's due to the ACX cooler giving you EVGA the headroom to go with more aggressive speeds. Uh, but more importantly, it is going to have lower temperature, as you can see the, uh, the fins themselves on the top and the bottom. So as, you, as the air is being pulled in, it's going to blow across the, the fin array and out the top, as well as on the bottom where the, the motherboard will be sitting. So probably majority of the air is going to go out the top. I just want to add one more thing for you guys. It's uh, actually a minimum of 600 watt power supply that you're going to need to power these cards. Uh, but beyond that, that's everything about this uh, EVGA comparison between the GTX 780s. Of course, we have the GTX uh, 780 reference, we have the, the superclocked, and the superclocked with the ACX cooler. So that's about everything. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and click the like button. Otherwise, subscribe, and we hope to see you soon.